Go ahead, internet. Laugh. <laughs> I give you the stick chariot. Is it ridiculous? Yes, but it's also awesome. I'm really impressed with how well it works. Okay, so what's in there? Probably 150 at plus pounds, maybe 200 pounds of wet, frozen sticks. All I did was take a yard cart and added this little goofy thing. Wait, I have to put the focus on. Ah, there we go. Okay, it's just a little slide-on 2x4 sandwich with a couple of casters on it. Now, it's worth pointing out that when this is loaded up, it's virtually weightless. That is just to keep the hitch from going all the way to the ground. It just keeps it level. And the casters are inexpensive. I'll replace them if they get destroyed. But the real beauty is this. It's, what did Archimedes say? Give me a place to stand and a lever long enough and I'll move the world. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, the theory is sound. If you use a little bit of leverage, it makes this so much easier to maneuver it and move it around. Here, look. I bet I can do it with just one hand. Now, the lot isn't too hilly. I mean, there's a slight downhill grade there. But I was able to move this up. I wouldn't say effortlessly, but it really wasn't bad. What What's going on here is some of the woods have been logged, so... Uh, I want to thin out all the brush that's in there. Lots of sticks, and I'm just trying to get rid of it. Just to neat, you know, tidy it up, make it nice and neat, at least around the perimeter of the house. Now, naturally, this sort of thing is going to attract all sorts of those why don't you just comments or dude just use a whatever. Yeah, go ahead if you want. It, but this isn't difficult, and it's not hard to store. The garage is like 70-some feet long, and it's just a couple of screws to take these handle things off. They're 8 feet long, and the cart, I don't know what it is. It's some, probably around 42 inches. Windy. Relax. This isn't the sort of place where we have to concern ourselves with forest fires. You just remain attentive. Don't leave home. Have a fire extinguisher somewhere not far away. And as long as you're sensible, there is very little risk of setting the world ablaze. Thankfully, here on the east side of the country. Well, I just thought that you would like that cool little inno innovation. I really didn't expect it to win any awards, but <laughs> a stick chariot? Come on, that's great. So the brush fire is wonderful because it keeps me nice and warm. But uh, I'm going to go back to my chainsaw work. Welcome to late November in Pennsylvania, by the way. This is what happens to all our beautiful ferns and deciduous forest. It's reduced to just icy mess and uh, what remains of the coniferous trees. wait before you leave I have to give you an update I've been working with this now for a few days and it's been awesome I it just totally blew all of my expectations out of the water so I have an idea on how to make a improvement to it and maybe let's take a vote and see what you think here I'll explain it to you this thing was originally a pull behind cart that's intended for a lawn tractor 
but it's awful and anyone who's ever used one knows that it's difficult to back up because little trailers are tough. They're tough to maneuver, especially in tight things like back in the woods. But not only that, uh, a tractor doesn't have much power. And, well, I don't know, and it's noisy and cumbersome and you don't want to run it in the cold. But right now, the biggest drawback with using this are these big handles. If I did want to throw it on the lawn tractor, they're in the way and I have to take them off. So wouldn't it be great if they just folded in? That would mean putting a cut somewhere in here and joining the two pieces together with an old door hinge. So the hinge would be placed such that it opens like this, but if the cuts, if the cut that's in this puts the two pieces butted up against each other nice and tight, then they won't be able to close in on themselves. But they will be able to swing open, and then I could just devise some kind of latch or something that keeps them shut for when I'm using the lawn tractor. As I've said, if it's nice and tight, then it won't be able to swing tighter than about, you know, just a few degrees like this. Hopefully. But before I go cutting into them and ruining them, let's take a vote. I'll put two comments down below, a yes and a no. And let's list the pros on the yes side and, and the cons on the no comment. And um, thumb up what you think and we'll take a vote. But again, I, I have to say, I, I would have been skeptical. This is one of those things that in theory it seems like it might work. But just how good is it? Uh, goodness, I think it's better than using a um, wheelbarrow. I mean, you can have four or five times the load before it's even remotely difficult. And the capacity of this exceeds a, a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrows are, they're always in a state of about to fall. <laughs> so they're difficult to use. It's even easier to push around when you're actually on pavement or concrete. Not bad, right? Another potential improvement to this, though, would be handles. You can push or pull this. I can't say which I prefer. Maybe on the straight, probably pulling. But pulling's a little tough because of what you're holding. It might be nice to have maybe some type of strap or hose or rope handle that you can grab and pull. It's really not that much of a big deal, but I think it might really help it out to make it even better to use. Another thing that I probably should mention is that you can dump this rather easily. As I mentioned before, it becomes effectively weightless with respect to that. There's not much weight on that. All of the weight is centered, if it's evenly loaded, it's mostly centered over the axle. So it acts as a, a pivot point. And it becomes, whoops, easy to tip. And that's why with even a couple hundred pounds, you can still push it around on a couple of casters.